Hi, welcome to the shop. I recently made a post on social media and a whole lot of people got a lot of benefit out of it. So I thought I'd make a little video to give some more detail and help others along in the hobby. Let's get started. So really the main things that you're going to want first to line up is just the hinge that you intend to use. For this example, I'm going to be using uh, the Dubro heavy duty hinges that say ideal for quarter scale. Uh, the, number one, they cover a lot of area for hinging different types of panels. Uh, they're really thick and sturdy as well, but also you have the ability to remove the pin that is the hinge point and that can make it easier for uh, installing the, 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 the panel that you're going to be hinging, but it can also be beneficial for creating this hinge as well. Other things you're going to need is like a pair of snips or maybe a pair of hemostats or something, needle nose pliers maybe, uh, something that you can use to bend against, but also hold the spring at the same time. This is a very tiny, tiny spring and can be easily lost, so I highly recommend some sort of tool for this job. Now, I will say that this part number is subject to change, but I'll tell you that as of right now, the part number is from McMaster Car. Uh, you can order these online. The, the part is... 9271K211. All right. And <clears throat> I, I was able to order this uh, in an afternoon and it showed up the next day. McMaster Car has fantastic service and they will take care of you whenever you order something from them. I've purchased many pieces of hardware from them. If you haven't heard of them, welcome to the club. <laughs> uh, if, if you have heard of them, uh, this is old hat for you. But just keep in mind that. It's a deep, dark rabbit hole when you go to McMaster Car. You can all find all sorts of fun goodies there. So, with those springs in mind, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on the modification and uh, let you know how to use these. All right, so welcome to the workbench. We are going to go ahead and get started here. And I use this angle because I kind of need both hands when I'm doing this and explaining this to you guys. And you'll quickly see what I mean in a minute. Uh, we'll get started if it, and, and we'll just repeat here what the part number is, 9271K211, it's a torsion spring, 270 degree angle, left hand or right hand, it doesn't really matter, but you're looking for a specific inner diameter and outer diameter, and that's kind of the key. It's a pack of six, and it's only like six or seven dollars, plus shipping, uh, comes in a pack that looks like this and I got two packs and so here's my other partial so they're just little tiny springs that look like that all right so here's one spring and the important thing that I learned here is that torsion springs do not like to be sprung out so to make them larger that is so springing them like this is not a good idea they spring best when they're getting smaller. Okay, so that's what is meant by 270 degree. Now, what I understand from McMaster Car also is that 270 degree is the total spring rotation. So as you can see, this is not quite straight up and down. It's just ever so slightly turned that way, but I should be able to turn 270 degrees this way and be good. So, that's really what I plan to do for this is to have a spring that I can uh, keep my hinge at the angle usually it's 90 degrees so you're gonna plug this hinge directly into something in the fuselage and have it spring closed and then something is gonna force it open and then it'll spring closed. Or you could have this in a flat position, like under a panel or something, and this sits flush, and you can also open it this way. So you're never gonna necessarily go past that 270 mark, but you're also gonna have spring tension keeping whatever panel it is closed. It's never necessarily gonna be like that. 
So you always have a little bit of spring tension on it. That's the basic idea. So again, I'm using the Dubro heavy duty hinges ideal for quarter scale catalog number 257. You can use pretty much whatever hinge you want, including offset hinges. I'll get more into this in a minute. So really all you need to do is get your hinge pieces. So you have one half and another half and you have your cotter pin, right? And the cotter pin obviously goes through and obviously assembling these is pretty straightforward. If you have never worked with these hinges before, there is a Dubro 101 video and I'll link that in the description below if you've never worked with these hinges before. So really all we need to do is cut out a little bit of space for the torsion spring. All right. So as you compare here, all I've done is approximately cut half of each tab. Let me separate this here. Approximately half of the inner tab. I've cut about half of it away. Let's line it up properly here. So I cut off half of the inside of this tab. Again, if you cut the outside off, you could potentially put the spring there if you had to, but I prefer to have my spring in the middle, mostly for even tension on the spring, uh, also on the surface, but I suppose it doesn't really matter that much. Kind of depends up to you and what your particular application needs, but that's what I'm doing here um, anyway. So then you would make that cut again on both pieces to make room because you don't want to re completely remove this one piece otherwise this hinge will just be flopping all over the place. You have to have the two points. From there it's as simple as putting the cotter pin in to one, lining up the other hinge and then ever so gingerly making sure that it goes in through the spring. Before you do that though I actually modified my spring and I'll show you how I do that. All I did was I bent the spring ever so slightly. So I'm not squeezing to cut this, I'm just squeezing to hold it and I bent ever so slightly. And I did the same on both sides. And what that allows me to do is once I put this under tension to put it on, it allows me to make clearance room for the physical dimensions, the geometry of the hinge as the spring sits on here so that the, so that the spring sits flat on the hinge. As you can see from the example in the social media post, these hinges are just glued right on. Okay, so I didn't account for any additional material removal or anything. I just glued them on. It worked fine. You don't have to get too precision about this. It just works. It just works. And it works every time and you're not overstressing the the spring at all. Now, I do want to talk about the offset hinge. For the offset door hinge, it's just an offset door hinge. This is a cheap one from Hobby King, but pretty much any other offset door hinge you can use as well. So obviously here you would have a panel, this would be your panel, and this would be your fuselage or wing surface or whatever, and this would sit on the inside, and this would spring open, okay? So then from here to close it, you could put like a piece of string in between and adjust the length of it so that when the gear would lower, it would close the door and then it would just spring right open. Super simple, super easy. And all I did was remove, I ended up just using this as a sacrificial one to see as an experiment, I ended up removing a little too much material, but again, I'm just, all I did was cut with a razor knife on this plastic. It's really easy. If you, you, if you need to, you can use a, a razor saw, but just cut the plastic, made room for the spring, and I ended up having to bend the end of the spring around the hinge point. 
and it works and it works every time and even though I ordered the smallest possible hinge I could find to fit on these pins it fits around this screw just fine just fine and again works every time so that's really it that's all there is to it There's, it's not hard um, it's uh, pretty straightforward but I guarantee it will make your life easier when you go to use um, some sort of, of door uh, it, just having something sprung without using elastic or having some sort of complex linear spring like from a ballpoint pen these torsion springs it, it's it's the bee's knees I'm telling you it's compact it's simple just requires a little bit of finesse and modification so until next time guys continue working on and improving your flying works of art